Hi, I'm Edgar Kiyoko, Program Manager, Seal Africa Social Impact. Uh, Seal Africa has committed 10% of its production capacity for social impact to uh, enable access of health and hygiene at affordable prices. This initiative has partnered with Ponea Health today to talk about PPE. PPE are personal protective equipment which can be used to protect the body against injuries or infections. Uh, in this case, it's infection, so it's protecting yourself from getting infected or protecting the people around you uh, from getting an infection. For instance, if I have something like folliculitis, I wouldn't, you know, I would be wearing a cap right now so that no one goes home scratching their head. PP are mostly made of two materials, that is polyethylene and polypropylene. So, yeah, po so the imported ones are made from polypropylene, which, you know, has... BPA, that is bisphenol A, which, you know, is really harmless uh, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, but now only in small exposures. So after a continued use of it, you know, you're using the same thing uh, week after week, you know, year after year, uh, the exposure will be big and the quantities of BPA in your body uh, would be now harmful. So the long-term effects of that is you're going to get, you know, affected, your immunity is going to be affected, your reproduction system is going to be affected. So there's a probability it may be affected, it's a 50-50. But now there's another now, the material polyethylene, which has zero negative effects to the environment. So the probability is now from 50-50, you know, I may have this immunity infection, I may have this reproduction, you know, problem in 20, 10 years, I mean, 10, 15 years, if I use this polypropylene uh, to now, I won't have anything if I use now polyethylene. So Seal Africa's PPE are made from polyethylene. Uh, they have a, a, a thickness of 80 microns. They have a thickness of 80 microns, which really makes it, you know, difficult to tear the material. So the material... The layman term for it is stretch wrap, which, you know, from the word stretch, it doesn't really tear, so you do really have to put so much work into tearing it. Seal Africa makes the stretch wrap material, you know, at the factory, uh, 80 microns, then sends it, outsources labor to seal it uh, into PPEs. During the sealing process, the tailors are actually wearing the same PPEs uh, with additional PPE like, you know, gloves, mask, uh, you know, boots everything to make sure that no DNA gets into the PPE. So by the time you're getting your PPE, you really did some test or something. Uh, you are the first DNA once your hair falls in it, once part of your skin falls in it. There's no possible transmission of an infection uh, from the sealing process. Porcelain would do a, a seal strength test. Whoever is doing it again is wearing PPE, uh, masks, gloves, everything. Google to make sure again no DNA gets into the PPE. Uh, in terms of cost and quality, so I'll start with quality. We are kept approved. That means we meet the benchmark for PPE. So yeah, so that's it. We we are to par with other PPE. On cost, Seal Africa PPE is ninety percent cheaper than imported PPE. That is because our value chain is really short. We make the pro we make the material Seal Africa, uh, outsource the labor for sealing into PPEs, then directly supply. Uh, as opposed to the imported ones, where you know there's so many steps in the supply chain where each person is making a margin so that uh, so an initial small price you know compounds into a bigger price the end consumer gets it at a much higher price yeah so that's why our PPI are really cheap we do not have all that many steps in the supply chain thank you for joining us in this episode you can search the South Africa PPE on ponia.com and buy from there thank you